and welcome back to my channel my name is Kali Kalil on the internet and I also go by the name of Kali I'm happy that you found your way to today's video which will be a quick post review of this beautiful canvas from Diamond Art Club it's called Star Maker and it's by Yume Art uh, it's 20 to 30 inches so 51 centimeter to 76 centimeter wide and um, it has a lot of drills um, like you see in this picture here um, it represents a tiger and it's I know of for many people who worked on it It's one of the most wished for paintings from Diamond Art Club um, I know that it has been recently restocked and it was sold out again and I was really lucky to get it a while ago and it has been on my uh, wish list uh, make wish list for a long time so um, It's one of these rainy day projects. I want to take out when I want to work on them um that i want to hold on to for a long time i just want to have them in my stock and when i feel like it i want to do it and i felt finally ready to do it and this one is also one that i really want to hang up on my wall so more about that a little later so you can see that um this is a picture that has only a few colors we only have 33 colors in this painting with two ab's the yellow one and the white one so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you can see. The white one is mainly in the sea roses here, as well as the yellow that's used for the sea roses. And we can also find it in the tiger, for instance, in his tail and also in everything in its face mainly. So you can see um, the yellow one is used in its eyes as well. And in the face is the white one also used. So this is really really shiny that's what i like about this picture a lot i took care of it i placed them uh, i single placed them i did not use the multi-placer for this picture because i noticed recently that the drills get placed more straightly if i place them with a single placer and this brings me already to the next part of this video so um you can see i told you there are only 30 through 33 colors sorry May, most of them are actually the black and the blue colors you can see sometimes there are these green parts the violet parts a little bit here and then the color is sprinkled out for it but there are many places in this painting where you have color blocking so if you're quite new to diamond painting uh, color blocking is when you have like parts where you use a lot of the same color um, it's not like you have to use uh, with the confetti where you have many different colors you have to change the tray so often and you have to single place them you could actually use the multi placer to do this and it would go pretty quickly but since this is a painting i really wanted to hang up on my walls and I really got uh, into it and I wanted to make it as perfect as I could. I decided to single place every single one of these drills, which is what I also did. And I think it turned out perfectly. But I have to say that um, single placing these huge color blocking parts, like you can see here, for instance, with this black here around and the blue parts and everything, um, it was quite not the most interesting part i know there are people that really love color blocking i'm more into confetti if i can have a confetti rich piece i also want it um but in this one you have a lot of color blocking that's going on so uh, luckily you get the little sprinkles of colors in between but um this was the only thing that quite i'm not gonna say annoyed me because i really enjoyed the process of doing this picture but it's something that I enjoyed maybe a little less because I'm a person who really likes to have a change of colors a lot. Um, also, these 33 colors is like a really small palette for such a big picture, which make the color uses also more repetitive. Um, this is also something you have to keep in mind. Nevertheless, I think it turned out stunning and it looks so so gorgeous and um, like I, got, I told you guys this is a picture I really want to put on my walls so I went to see um, a first shop just to get an opinion on what kind of um, board I could put around because I want to hang it on my wall not just like this but I really want to put some woodish um, 
wooden cabins around it so i thought about going something golden maybe um something that is maybe also a little bit more decorative so i will blend in a picture for you now where you can see the two types of possibilities i am looking for you will see it now So um, I'm still thinking about which one I should choose and if I should go with one of these two. I'm still going to look for another shop, but it's not open yet. So you will stay tuned <laughs> to get notice of that um, in another video, maybe when I show you how it will turn out definitively. But this is the final product. Like you can see the result of many long hours of crafting. It took me more, a little more than a month to finish this painting. But I really enjoyed how it turned out and I told you this is a rainy day kit of mine and I'm happy that I made it, I'm happy that I finished it and um, it's really one that I was looking forward to and if you get a chance please go grab it because it's a wonderful picture from Diamond Art Club. Really wonderful and um, you are not gonna regret doing it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know in your comments down below if this is a painting that you also did, you want to do it, it's maybe on your wish list. Do you also have rainy day kits? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'm also happy to hear about you and your own products and projects. So um, if you like this video also, please consider giving it a thumbs up or even to subscribe because this helps my channel grow and it would make me super, super happy. In the meantime, I hope you stay healthy. I hope you stay hydrated and I will see you in another video. Bye guys!